Hello again everyone. Well it's Friday and I'm hoping to get away from work a little bit early because we've got a trip away planned. Well the van's already and packed up back at home. I've just got a few little jobs I've got to finish off here. We've got some engineers working on site but as soon as that's done we can head off. Right, engineers are done. I think we can go. Well, there we go. We're set up on the site. It's a caravan and motorhome club CL called Northfield Farm. Well, Nikki's inside. I think she is making herself a cup of tea. We've decided not to put the blow up awning up for the moment because we're on a hard standing pitch and we have a bit of a job to get the pegs in. I think we'll probably be all right without it this weekend. Well, for dinner, we're having some chicken satay kebabs, which Nikki's made up. Got them on the old uh, Kadak here, all wrapped up in foil so uh, yeah looking forward to them well these are getting there now nearly ready just taking them out the foil now I'm just gonna brown them off a bit on the grill fine stuff burns a little bit too quickly if you don't have some foil there <laughs> dinner's over let's have a little look round and show you this little CL site well this is the approach track we're quite a way off the road it's quite a uh, long track I'm guessing probably maybe about a quarter of a mile or so from the road into the campsite and in the farmyard there's this uh, nice little enclosure for emptying your chemical waste toilet cassette I think that's where you empty the grey waste uh, by the side of that as well but uh, just come around the corner here and you're into the CL itself. You can see there's a couple of other caravans staying here with us at the moment. I think they are fully booked over the weekend so there must be some more people arriving, another couple of vans arriving. Just in the centre there is where all the bins and recycling is and there is recycling. You can separate your waste out and recycle certain things. Now we're on a hard standing pitch, there's two hard standing pitches, the others are all grass and there's three of these brick posts which have got your electric hook up on and there's a standpipe by each one as well so you're never too far from water. I'm not sure if our hose will reach from this tap to our fill point, I suspect it probably won't but it's still quite convenient having it very close. Now the site itself is uh, pretty spacious, there's certainly plenty of room for your five vans and it's got this nice 
shading tree hedge thing as well. Now this little gate next to where the bins are does lead down to uh, a couple of fields. There's some llamas in here somewhere. You can see we are fairly close to the A14. You can hear it a little bit. You can certainly uh, hear the traffic noise in the background, but uh, not too bad. It's uh, something you very quickly get used to. And on the other side of the CL, there's this uh, big open field. That's got a, a dog walk around the perimeter of it. And obviously, of course, you're able to walk around it as well if you haven't got a dog. Anyway, Nikki's got some sort of online meeting this evening, so I'm going to have a walk down this way. I think there's a path that leads down through those trees. I'll see where that goes. It's not marked as a footpath on the map. Tell you what, even though it's getting dusky, it's not cooling down much. It's still very uh, hot and clammy. I think it must still be around uh, 23, 24 degrees. It's uh, going to be a hot night tonight, I think. Ah, so this path just uh, comes down to a bit of a dead end, and you can go round and join the path that goes round the field. Yeah, it won't be long until sunset, I guess, but uh, it's a cracking little field to walk around this. It's a shame the other footpaths don't connect to it, because it would make a quick route down to the interchange where the little shop is. Looks like there's a new housing estate over there. They've uh, certainly packed them in there, haven't they? There's a few poppies out amongst the wheat. The old bindweed flowers as well. Nice couple of oak trees in this corner. Should be a good crop of acorns later on in the year, I guess. both fancied a fairly chilled out relaxed weekend this weekend and this little Seattle is only about an hour from home so uh, it's ideal and it really does seem very nice it's very well cared for and uh, all the basic things you need are there nice facilities and stuff so yeah pretty pleased with this one good choice I think Even put a nice little bench there so you can sit and admire the view. I can see my house from here. That's really getting quite dusky now. I don't think sunset was actually until 8.45 tonight, but uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, getting dark earlier now soon be Christmas. I wandered through the fields of wheat and amongst the long grass. The sun had been beating down all day long and I did not have a sweaty... There's a little vegetable patch here, some uh, beans and such. Ah, another nice little resting place. That was quite a pleasant walk around the field. wonder how Nikki's getting on with her meeting. Well, I could certainly do with a nice cup of tea. I wandered through the countryside, past fields and woods and streams, when all of a sudden the wind got up. It must have been those beans. Right, back with the van. Let's get that kettle on. This is the life, eh? Tea and nuts. Cheers. Oh well, sun's gone down. Time for bed, I think. Good night, everyone. 
Well, we're up and showered. I've got the kettle on and I think we're going to have breakfast outside. Morning! Oh well, breakfast is over and Nikki's got some work to do in her office this morning before we go out enjoying ourselves. I tried to make my office outside but I couldn't see the screen. Well, while Nikki does her work, I'm going to sit and have a little bit of a read of my book in the shade of these trees. Yeah, this arrived through the post uh, just before we came away. And it's the Proceedings of the Mining Conference from 2015, which uh, I remember well held up there in Nenthead. And one of the highlights of the conference was uh, a trip down Brewery Shaft, which I've got a video of on the uh, channel here. I'll put a link to it it's up here somewhere. Oh, I actually uh, fell asleep outside for a little while and a campsite fella come and woke me up. I think he thought I was in some sort of medical emergency. Anyway, got some uh, eggs on the boil now for lunch and uh, I think Nikki's got a little bit more work to do then we're going to go out for a bit of a walk I think aren't we Dan? Yes indeed and we hopefully he won't frighten anyone to death again. Well Nikki's decided to stay back at the van and finish off the work she's got to do it's taking a bit longer than expected so I'm going to have a bit of a stroll on my own and see what I can find. Mm. I think. No thanks mate, I've just eaten. Now, according to my map, there should be a footpath off up here somewhere. Well, there's no sign, but I think this might be it. Well, everybody, look at the beautiful view. Through the midday heat, as the sweat poured off him, your hero, he kept going. Is he a genius or a bloody fool? There's just no way of knowing. This field I'm walking through has what looks to be um, peas growing in it. They don't look very healthy. A lot of them are quite black and scorched. I guess that probably means they're not really very good anymore. So and the poor old farmer may have taken a bit of a hit there. The village I grew up in used to have the town pea charity where there was always a field planted with peas and you could go and help yourself on certain days. I'm not sure if they still do that. It was uh, Sawston in Cambridgeshire. Well, if my calculations are correct, this village up ahead should be the village of Thorpe Malsor. Quite a nice little village, really. Well, there's the church. Let's have a look. Sometimes you can look inside in return for a small donation. Yeah, CCTV on the premises. I've seen a lot of those signs around here. I don't know if there's uh, a little bit of a crime problem, which doesn't bode well for the church being unlocked, really, does it? Let's have a try. No, that's pretty locked up. 
Never mind, we can have a squeeze around the outside. That's a pretty nice building. I used to know quite a lot about churches and their architecture and be able to name the different periods and stuff, but uh, forgotten a lot of it over the years and I, I couldn't really tell you now. I'll have to uh, read up on it all again. And I think that over there is Thorpe Malsor Hall and it looks like they've got their own uh, special gate into the church. Well, it doesn't look particularly heavily used. Now, chaps, this is intriguing. Look, round the corner of this little building, there is a staircase that goes down to something underground. I wonder what that could be. Doesn't look like the stairs are used that often. Sadly, it's uh, padlocked up. Uh, that is a shame. I'd love to see what's down there. Yeah, it's a shame. Often there's the name of a key holder or someone you can contact to uh, let you in, but there's nothing like that here. I'm sure if there was, we could have persuaded them to let us have a look under there. Right, time to move on and see what else we can find. Nice old garden walls to the old hall. Yeah, private that way, so we're off this way. It's lovely to walk in the shade of the wood, but despite the cooling breeze, the sweat's dripping off me wedding tackle and running down past me knees. And I think when we get down here, we should find the Cransley Reservoir and its sailing club. Well, there we go, look, Cransley Reservoir, and there are people out sailing. I guess with a breeze and such lovely sunshine, it's the ideal weather for it. There's the clubhouse over there, and uh, yeah, this is a, a nice spot. You can't actually walk all the way around the reservoir, there's no path, and it looks like it's got uh, like security fencing around most of it, so... Yeah, pretty private, but uh, our footpath, of course, goes along the top of the dam. Nothing going down the spillway at the moment, of course. I guess it's uh, been pretty dry lately. sheep in this field they're not normal sheep are they they're quite a nice creamy color they must be a special breed of sheep but uh, I'm not a sheep expert so I don't really know what breed of sheep they might be now there's a bit of a bridge in the road here because this is the line of an old railway so yeah, that down there is, I believe, the railway that used to take the ironstone from the iron pits. We're in the Northamptonshire iron sands kind of area. And uh, there would have been little branch lines led to various different pits and things. And then I think this railway would have eventually taken them probably into Corby where the uh, steelworks was. But obviously the railway is long gone now. 
Funnily enough, I was reading about the Northamptonshire iron sands mining in that journal that arrived the other day that I was reading this morning. Yeah, there's the bridge look, lovely, hey. Well, sadly there's no right of way along the cutting, so we'll go back up to the road and walk down and find the footpath. But the footpath should cross this again later on. Well, my water bottle's running low. A drink would come in handy. I wonder if there's a pub up here where I can get a shandy. Right, I think if we head across here, then it should bring us out roughly where the pub is. So this is the village of Great Cransley. Well, there's the pub, the Three Cranes, but uh, it's not very open. It's uh, locked up and uh, no sign of anyone, so I don't think I'll be getting any refreshment there. I remarked on my thirst to a passerby and said the pub being closed was rotten luck, but he just shrugged and walked away. He couldn't give up. Well, I think that's our route back to the campsite. And from here on, we're heading homewards. Well, it's been lovely out here on this walk, but it'll be nice to get back to the van. I'm hoping for refreshment there. Tea and Welsh cakes is the plan. Well, it is a cracking view of all the farmland from here. Look at all that, look. Well, there goes the tractor. Looks like he's got a load of something. Probably harvesting something, maybe. Dunno. I met a tractor on this track where it's all hot and dusty. He had a trailer on the back and it was blue and rusty. Right, well, I think down there is where we crossed the old railway track again. Because we're further down in the valley, it's an embankment here we've got to cross rather than a cutting. Oh, look, it's uh, an old bridge. I wonder if we can get up to take a look. Hmm, well, maybe not. I always do try and respect the private signs where they exist. Yeah, it looks like the old uh, track's missing a few sleepers there. Nice old iron beams, though. I looked at the old railway track where the trains once trundled by. The wind blew a cloud of dust up and I got some in my eye. Afternoon ladies. I love to see the lambs in the field but it's very rude of course to mention anywhere near them gravy or mint sauce. Well, I've just spoken to Nikki and she's just put the kettle on, but uh, unfortunately I don't think I'll be back quite in time for that particular brew because uh, although I'm not very far from the campsite, there's no paths that go direct to it. So I've got to sort of do a loop round and come back on myself to get back there. I think the next stretch of the walk is going to be along the side of the A14, so it may not actually be that pleasant. What a pleasant walk in the countryside. It's like a midsummer's dream. With the sunshine and the fresh air and the noise of the A14. Ah, this stretch we really are walking practically on the roadside of the A14, but in the field, so it's not too bad. Some people, when you mention hiking, think of the Rockies or the Pyrenees, but try the fields around Kettering. 
They certainly won't fail to please. Crikey, uh, this bit's a little bit overgrown. Well, there's a little underpass here that leads into Kettering, but uh, we're not going that way, we're going the other way, but uh, yeah, it's uh, underground at least. Always nice to get underground, it's lovely and cool under here. Anyway, can't hang around here, there is tea and Welsh cakes calling back at the van. Well, we're heading away from the A14 now and sort of curling around the campsite to come back in the way we went out campsite is literally just over there about a field away but uh, we've got to go round it'll be great to get back to the motorhome and the lush green campsite lawns I wonder if Nikki's got the dinner on she says we're having prawns Oh, well, we're back to that road junction with the little gnome where we started off some time ago. So uh, just a short trudge up there back to the van. There's Nicky, look. What a welcome sight. Must be back to the van. There we go. Thank goodness for that. Looks like we've got company too. And indeed, Nicky has done prawns for dinner. Look pretty nice. Oh, it's uh, Sunday morning. Nicky's still asleep. We had quite a nice, relaxed evening last night, just sitting outside, playing Scrabble and drinking tea. This morning, we can uh, also be quite relaxed. The campsite owners told us that we don't need to rush to leave the site. We can leave whenever we like. So, uh, yeah, quite slow paced today so far. I'm going to wash up and then we'll perhaps go for a short stroll around the field again and then probably head for home. Right, well that's it for our stay at Northfields Farm. See you next time. if you want to see some more and ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new